and just passing through Cape of Fern between Dover and Folkestone to the Battle of Britain Memorial. There's a lot of renovation going on, a new visitor centre and the car park, most of the car park is currently out of action but I'm sure all this, by the looks of this place it's going to be open for Easter. So I'm going to park up a few hundred yards short and walk in. There's no charge to visit the memorial and if you're in the area I recommend you do. Hi guys, I'm up at Cape of Fern, Battle of Britain Memorial. It's between Folkestone and Dover, down in Kent, and you should just be able to see behind me the White Cliffs of Dover. And it's a glorious day. Started off with torrential rain, but it's uh, cleared up now. I'm just about to go and have a look at the Battle of Britain Memorial. Uh, a very small memorial, and it has a replica Spitfire and a replica Hawker Hurricane as well as a huge propeller built into the ground which is visible on Google Maps and I shall link to that in a moment, I shall link a photo to that and I shall also do some quick footage of the memorial wall, let's go and have a look. Okay before I head over to the memorial I just thought I'd mention this is my new camera I'm testing it's a GoPro Hero 4, silver edition, and I'm using a small pole and an edited unidirectional speaker, which I've got tucked onto my shirt underneath this jumper, uh, so I can record the sound without the wind noise. And it is quite windy up here, I'm up on the cliffs. I'm just going to have a little look out. I will, I know I said I'd do this a couple of weeks ago, um, a review of my camera situation and I will do a small vlog about my choices. I did get rid of the previous camera and another camera and now I'm just using my phone and a GoPro for this trip, keeping it simple. Anyway, let's have a look at these views. I shall turn around now. As I'm approaching the edge of the cliff. And that direction is Dover and across to France. You can see the train line down between us, it goes through a number of tunnels. The area down, the beach in between, is called the Warren. And across there we can see Folkestone. The greens on this headland in front of me. And there's a Martello Tower, a Napoleonic defensive tower there, which I plan to visit, but there is a number of these towers along the coast here. But there is one that opens to the public, but I believe it's by appointment only. And so I'll have to see whether I can get to see that or not but beautiful views from up here. All right, now let's head over to the memorial. There we can see the new memorial center that I'm sure will open this spring. And the memorial wall of the names of those that took part in the Battle of Britain. I should do a silent walk by. Here's a replica 
of a Supermarine Spitfire Mark I, the type that would have been used in the Battle of Britain. Probably the most famous plane the RAF has ever had. And next to it, we have a Hawker Hurricane. Again, this is only a replica. They sit out in the elements, and although I'm sure at Duxford and various other places, they've got original Battle of Britain planes that survived and have been restored. Both this is Hawker and the Spitfire replicas. symbols up underneath the cockpit represent two and a half kills 